Social media and dating apps are great, right? They keep everybody connected, it's so easy, you can just DM people, you can swipe on people. It makes everything so easy. But that's the problem. Are you the kind of person to see someone that you know in real life and then message them later on in the day and say, oh my God, I saw you today, how are you? I noticed this the other day, I saw somebody that I knew and instead of going up to them in person and saying hi and reintroducing myself, I just sent them a message on Instagram saying that I saw them. And there was nothing wrong with the conversation that we had on Instagram, but it made me think, why didn't I just go up and approach them? And I realized that there's a massive problem in society today that comes from social media and dating apps. I feel like the odds are if you saw a cute girl like on your campus or in your school, you probably wouldn't go up to them. And why not? I'll tell you why. It's easier to just go onto Hinge, go onto Tinder, go onto Bumble, and hope you see them on there because it's just easier to hide behind a screen. There was one time I was walking with one of my friends and he saw a really cute girl. And I was like, bro, you gotta go talk to her. You gotta go talk to her, go talk to her. You know, I'm trying to be a good wingman, go talk to her. And he said, no, 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 no. I'm not gonna go talk to her. And I asked him why? And he's like, well, like she might not want to be talk to, she might just reject me, I might get my ego hurt, and that's the problem. It's too easy to just swipe on somebody on these dating apps or just slide into somebody's DMs on Instagram, and it's making us antisocial. It's taken away the core element of humanity, human interaction. Watch this wrist. And trust me, I've talked to many girls before and asked them, how do you wanna be approached? How do you want to meet a guy? Every single time they say, oh, you know, if they just come up and talk to me, if they're just confident and come and approach me. When I'm in a coffee shop, when I'm studying, if a guy just finds me cute, just come and talk to me. And this goes for everybody. People appreciate human interaction. They don't want everything to be online. It really comes down to this fear of rejection fear of getting our ego hurt. So for me, I deleted the dating apps. I got them out of my life. And I have to say, the dating apps became one of those airplane apps, one of those apps that you just cycle around to and just get your dopamine rush from. I would just like a bunch of people and just say some corny pickup line and then just hope for the best. And it wasn't even like I was trying to actively go out on dates. It was just something to do. But it was to the point that I would see somebody in person and be too afraid to talk to them in person. So I'm so glad I realized this as it was happening, I was thinking to myself, this is so dystopian of me. This is not the kind of person I am to where I'm too afraid of human interaction. I just dropped a video on how I became confident and this is not being confident, but it's really not my fault and it's not your fault because it's so easy and we don't even realize how addicted we are to these apps. It's so much easier to just see a girl that you know and just slide into her DMs because then there's no risk involved. You can just send it out and you don't have to worry about the outcome. It's not like you're putting yourself on the line, you're not putting your ego on the line. And that's something we have to bring back because that's the core element of humanity. We need to start living again. People don't even realize this, but these dating apps and these social medias has almost sort of normalized this antisocial behavior where we're too afraid to actually interact in person. I'm not somebody that's scared of human interactions and you're not scared of human interactions either. So why are we avoiding them? That's something you need to think about. The problem with social media and the problem with dating apps is it creates this online world where it replaces something that you would normally do in real life. So you feel like you don't need to put yourself into that real life environment anymore because you can just go onto your phone and do it there. So I don't know, it was just kind of an odd place for me to be and I felt like this is something I don't need in my life. So I got rid of it and I'm no longer on them. I have no plans on getting them back anytime soon. And I think it's just kind of promoting this sort of antisocial behavior amongst young people that shouldn't be antisocial. Like we need to be out here talking to people, going outside of our comfort zone, creating real human interaction because like this is the time in our life when we gotta do that. We gotta be constantly pushing ourselves and it's it really shouldn't be this deep, but it is this deep because so many people are are just scared to approach somebody in real life. So many people are just too comfortable on their phones and on these apps and on social media that they'll literally do anything to avoid a real life encounter. And also nobody wants to meet somebody on a dating app. Everybody wants that story where you met in a coffee shop. People want that, but we're doing everything that we can to avoid that and we need to bring that back. We're already living in this super dystopian society and we need to just reverse it. We need to just reverse it. I know everybody has dating apps now 
nowadays, everybody has social medias and, and you know, it's fine to a certain degree, but like, don't be scared of the real life aspect of it. Don't avoid it. If you're gonna be doing one, you gotta do the other or else you're just kind of like a cyborg. I don't know. I know that's not you. I know you're more confident than that. And I know you can talk to people in real life. So don't be antisocial. Learn how to talk, put yourself outside of your comfort zone and you'll do wonders in this life. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Peace and love.